Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys want to smash that like button and we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin charts. So yeah, Bitcoin on the four hour. We obviously had um, some diabolical price action yesterday. Uh, we lost the underside uh, trend line of our descending channel and also our major, uh, our major um, basically support level. Uh, price populated uh, underneath we were saying yesterday we needed to get the acceleration to the downside otherwise we were more likely otherwise we're more likely than not then to pop back up we weren't just going to hang around where we were there had to be a decision made um, and the bears didn't have any follow through after after managing to break us down um, so we now find ourselves um, quite fortunately for the uh, for the short term at least for the time being um, back above our our support level um, so uh, yeah this is this is this is pre obviously pretty promising based on um, the two old the two outcomes were either to do this or to find ourselves uh, probably down towards the twenty seven thousand dollar level obviously that is not to say that that won't happen um, but we have now got a shot we've got a shot of basically getting back up back up back up towards thirty three thousand and uh, breaking that and beyond and then starting to starting to recover um somewhat within our wider range and trying to get to the uh, top half of our wider range so um what a difference a day makes um we can obviously go over to stock markets to get our cue as to obviously how we managed to put in this uh, well in all fairness in reality quite a uh, quite a a smallish move to the upside but it was it was through important levels um, and, and we also didn't get that acceleration to the downside that we could have got um, if we didn't get um, such a, a bounce in stock markets. But yeah, if you look at look at this, we obviously stock markets are looking pretty um, pretty dire as well. Um, but they made a very nice uh, push up, um, basically a very nice push up. So I mean, this could be this could be a, a very nice bull trap in the stock market, um, and then we get slammed back down to lower to basically well, it will probably be like a prolonged bear market but um well that may not be happening i mean all we're going to do is get above some of these levels here i mean we might as well draw them on just seeing as we have we've started annotating this chart um pretty much get through back here um then we uh yeah i mean then onwards and upwards and uh, crack Lud ludwig von mises crack up boom um let's uh let's just um rich get richer so there we go uh dxy though as we can see um is still uh sporting a 93 handle um is getting somewhat resisted at this level i mean it's got it's got to get resisted turn around and start to make moves to the downside at some point otherwise otherwise if it doesn't then we're clearly uh, going onwards and upwards to um to loftier prices and that will that will not allow stock markets to stay pretty much where they are um you would have thought um the ethereum um satoshi pairing as well as you can see it is uh it is attempting to try and get through its major resistance level we just extend this along um through its resistance level if it can do that if we can get back above um well we can call it north spot uh north six two just for the sake of uh, sake of ease and uh, then yeah this could um start to uh start to look like it could have put in a bottom here um especially if obviously bitcoin does uh, make progress away from this thirty thousand dollar level bitcoin dominance as well as you can see is still looking it is still looking bullish looking relatively good uh up until the point that it loses this hot this horizontal area here if it does that then yeah we'll come down and test this lose this and then we are full on um full on um crypto ball mode um um you would have thought um you would have thought and that will probably coincide with obviously bitcoin getting back above this horizontal here and then we'll extend this along as well um because this is our midpoint um <clears throat> without making it too complicated by putting boxes in these this is our mid of our mid of our lower half and mid of our upper half but yeah if we start to um if we do basically get above this this level here, I think that will coincide with Bitcoin dominance making some nice moves towards this uh, uh, 44.5%. Um, but yeah, none of that is none of that is necessarily going to have to happen. We could we could stall out here, find ourselves com coming back through this support level, and if we do, I mean, it is very difficult to uh, to see any any alternative other than we are going to come and test uh, into the 27,000s at least um and maybe even uh, lower um lower in the in the longer term 
So yeah, that is that is what we are playing with. Um, obviously, um, the uh, the monetary uh, magicians came to the came to the rescue of the stock market. Stocks got bought back up. So um, so are we are we gonna have? Are we have we had our scare? Have we had our taper tantrum? Um, in obviously major markets, so we're going to start to get some risk on again. Um, if we are, I mean this, I mean this does look like it could be the start of that. If we if we're going to get that, this is what the start of it would look like. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Let's have a look at the stochastic. Four hour is pointing upwards and trending upwards now. Obviously still in the bearish half, so but that could get us going. That could certainly get us going, and it's got one job. It's got one job, and it is to hold us above this, uh, above this, uh, well, above support now. It's got to hold us above this support. That is its one job. Um, the 10 hour and 12 hour have a, have more complicated jobs though. They are to get us towards the next level of resistance and through it. But 10 hour turning up from a very low base here. 12 hour turned up from a very low base here. Daily turned up from a very low base here. Two days still pointing down though, no, and three days still pointing down. Came down pretty fast the three day, three day. Uh, five days still pointing down, but so like I said, all pointing down here. But we've got the four, twelve hour, and day, ten hour. Uh, sorry, the four, ten, twelve hour, and daily um, that are turning up. Um, that could um, could see us get some nice uh, some nice uh, upward momentum if they do start to uh, price action just start to get going and most certainly getting back above this uh, resistance level I think we we should we will probably have the the juice to get us up to the midpoint and then we're just gonna see do we get through the midpoint obviously we have our TD um, a TD daily nine here um, so no surprise we are getting a bounce here let's just hope it is not one of those old one to four candle corrections and then resuming the downward trend but uh, yeah one to four daily candles um, get could get us back up to even to be honest even above this uh, resistance level even if we then do cool off a little bit um, we will then be sufficiently away from this uh, support level um, so ho hopefully restore some confidence back in markets to get onwards and upwards as we said stock markets are looking looking good we just gotta hope that this isn't a uh, isn't a uh, bull trap, um, but I mean, getting basically above these highs will indicate it isn't. And onwards, onwards, and upwards for another nice leg upwards, potentially even to the five and a half thousands um, over the rest of this year, potentially if that is how it's going to play out. Uh, obviously getting rejected by this and coming back down it would start to look pretty bad it would definitely start to look pretty bad and dxy is going to ha probably have going to have to start um start behaving at some point otherwise it's uh, it is game over um, we are obviously approaching uh, this uh, high here um i mean i mean it really does look like if we are to reverse this it is going to want to wick and trade above here um to uh, to put the scares on people a bit but um and then come back down that's what you would ex potentially expect to see but uh, it has been it does look like it has been struggling to inch up this whole time so far so maybe this is uh maybe this will be the the, the final little move into this resistance area that will be the straw that breaks the camel's back and we do come back down but for the time being you just have to assume we are going to get above and move onwards and upwards and that is going to uh just not really be ideal for risk markets so um yeah that is it um that is it not too much else to say are we looking just look at some of the other td sequentials not not too much else you can see the nice bounce off that weekly nine there uh 12 hour may have had a nine um no didn't had a nine there but not nothing nothing of significance we've not really looked too much at the td sequential at the moment because we are basically range bound well, as opposed to uh, in the in the larger time frames as opposed to trending um, so obviously the TD sequential is kind of good when we're trending, but as you can see, we're basically just uh, sideways, sideways traded, trading within a range here. Um, so, so yeah, there we go, guys. Uh, quick video this morning. Remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your own research, and I shall speak to you guys soon.